but I've certainly experienced it on my ma- What the fuck is that? See, I'm not- What? Huh? What? Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today, we are going to be playing Pressure. Now, this is a relatively newer game I found, and it looks incredibly interesting. I played a little bit, but I'm on my alt because there's some like data I can't go back on, and I want I like really want to show you because it's so it's so good it's so good, but um yeah it's kind of like Doors if they made their own version of it. I mean that's really the best way to put it. It's Doors, but they made their own version, and. It's, it shares a lot of similarities, but it also has a lot of differences. Now, some creatures kind of coincide with each other, just because, you know, it's hard to make stuff that different, especially since it's new. But it, it already has a lot of unique stuff, so I'll get into it right now. Oh, yeah, and if y'all like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And comment down below any game suggestions you have. I have some pretty interesting stuff planned, and yeah. Oh, and we have a thousand sub goal at a thousand subs. I will do a face reveal. Yippee! Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so yeah, it's, it's telling us it isn't scary. Oh, whatever. And um, I don't know if it's closing soon, by the way, so... By the time you watch this, it may or may not be open. I have absolutely no idea. Because it says might close in the title. <clears throat> You are an inmate of redacted high security prison. Your crimes are irrelevant. Whether or not you are falsely charged is irrelevant. You have served 93 days of your X year sentence. Today, three men from the Urban Shade Corporation, being escorted by heavily armed guards, arrived at the prison. They were searching for volunteers to help them retrieve a crystal of sorts, a highly important asset that they were unable to secure during a major security breach in one of the facilities. They stated that the risk of death was high, but whoever could retrieve the asset and return it to them would be pardoned, released from a clear record, and receive X in cash. Many of your fellow inmates signed up. You signed up as well. So yeah, that's kind of like the context. Now, I was actually really... I mean, when you think about... You are expendable. You are not expected to return. But yeah, back to what I was saying. I mean, if you look at the name of the game, it makes sense. But it's like, um, we're going to submarine and stuff. But uh, yeah, we're just going to go first player. I mean, one player mode. Um, I'm not sure if there's a difference. But y'all will see... I don't know if I'm gonna die on purpose or not. Okay, and my headphones just died. That's so perfect. Hey, see so yeah, how we're in? <clears throat> Obviously, starts the same way. Run here. We can get stuff from the drawer. We can get info. We can check lockers, look through desks. There's a crouch. Key card. And I remember there's something here. I'm not sure how, <clears throat> but I think there's um a certain playthrough you can go. Oh, wait, I have it right here. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do those just so I can show you. But if y'all want to play the game and experience that yourself, you can. I probably will on my main slot at some point or main account, not slot. But yeah. So yeah, we're just searching. Um, again, just like doors, there's nothing really going on for the first couple of um, like rooms. You can just search stuff. Sometimes something will spawn, lights flicker, something in the middle of the room. But for right now, it's, it's quite simple. In fact, I this is my all so i'm not even gonna check oh yeah this one's a kind of hard one to get through when it goes dark oh i've never been in this room before not even on my main account um it looks like we can just go through okay there's a key card somewhere uh 
Yeah, we might have to check all the desks. Okay. Is it in one of these? Oh, there it is. I think from experience, though, it's more often going to be like a cabinet closer to the door. It's not going to be too far off to the side. So we can come up here. I've also never seen this room. I think there was a little mini update in between when I played on my main account. And now you can, yeah, you saw the crouching. We're just going to keep going. Oh, wait, we have to be careful. Is that the angler? That's yeah, the angler. I'm gonna have to turn that down. So, uh, yeah, but I'm not sure how to get through here, because... Obviously... It's, like, on. Like, I can't really... Now I can't see either, so that's pretty cool. Oh, wait, there's a vent. I mean, I still can't see, but... Yeah, it, like, this game is... Ex it's so dark. Like, indoors, you can at least, like, kind of move your camera around and manipulate it. It's kind of funny, because they end up helping you sometimes by giving you the red lights, like right now. Shoot. Yeah, you want to be careful because I've seen this one. It'll pull you towards the camera. So you, actually, you have to like constantly force yourself not to look in that direction. It's a very interesting ability. Yeah, sometimes it, there's nothing that spawns in the dark as of right now, I think. Like the hushes from doors. There's nothing like that in the game. Um... Yeah, there had to have been a mini update. There's so many new rooms now. But yeah, look, there's there's actually a creature in here. You can see it right there. There is a sound cue as well, but I can't hear very well without my headphones. So, it's a little rough. Ooh, battery. W. Yeah, I'm not too sure what's going on. Okay. Oh shoot, he almost got me. I think this is a new room for that because there's a lot of sea creatures and sea anomalies. And there's a very there's an incredibly unique feature. You'll see once I inevitably die. Okay, I don't know what that is, but that was scary as heck. Oh shoot. So yeah, there's a there's a pretty big creature in there. I Okay, got to be careful. Don't look at anything in the eye. Like you can see it over there. It's kind of like an octopus. Most entities normally despawn when you go to the next room. Like now you don't see it. Yeah, no, it's still there. Wait, that's a little weird. I don't think it'll cause me an issue though, so it's fine. Oh, there's no way the item lock. Y'all. D1 monkey over here. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe I passed by this so many times. Oh my lordy. This is the first time I'll actually have light for a dark room. So light is incredibly useful. I'll tell you guys that. It's much easier with it. Shoot. Man, that guy spawns a lot. Other way moron. It's a little mean. Oh wait, angler spawn. Let's give it a sec. 
Again, I can't, I mean, I can hear the loud sound effects, but aside from that, I can't hear very well. I think we go through there. Yeah, it looks like it. Dude, there's an entity I thought that would spawn by now. And I'm not sure if it can or can't kill me. But I've certainly experienced it on my ma- What the fuck is that? See, I'm not- What? Huh? What? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I've never saw it on my main slot. Hello. You died. What a shame. We haven't met before, but hopefully you'll be able to stay alive long enough next time for me to give myself a proper <coughs> introduction. Since those idiots up there didn't feel like telling you about which exact dangers you'd face down here, I've been asked to fill that role. Whenever you die, you'll be brought here, and I'll show you a document detailing what caused your oh-so-early demise. He was very specific with how much information I could share with you, though. It's stupid, I know. His order is not mine. All the documents are heavily classified, lots of black lines, redacted text, whole nine yards. The more times you die to something, the more black lines he lets me remove. All right. Let me find what caused your... Ah, here we go. But, um... Yeah, so that's what I was talking about. This game... Is it, it's very similar to doors in a lot of its things. Yeah, they're squiddles. When the operator boarded the ships, they found that the power was out. Oh, wait, look. In the pictures, it's shining a light on it. So they flourish in dark areas, it looks like. But, um, yeah, that's the thing. This game, it's... Oh, well, except the first intro part. Pretty much the rest of it is voice acted by that dude and he's a he's a really good voice actor i like him i don't know who he is but i like him and like all these case files there's so many in the game they're all very high quality and interesting i just see One more thing before i forget the next time you inevitably fail and get sent back down again you'll have the opportunity to stock up on some useful supplies assuming you have funds for it of course i've Set up a system that will allow you to order supplies whilst you are still aboard the submarine. All of which will be conveniently awaiting you in a crate at its destination. I optimistically look forward to your patronage, friend. He's such a nice guy. But yeah, it says respond to Sable for final test. I'm not sure what that meant. But we're just going to run it back. Because we're going to see. He's going to. We can lock the uh, shop. He's going to aid us a little now. Uh, we're broke, so it doesn't really matter. Man, that took a sec. But yeah, now... There's also a crate. You are so... Yeah, he just sometimes gives us free stuff, at least from my experience. Which is very nice of him. I've never gotten the you are so lazy comment though. It's a new one. But the code breaker, so I'm the, with the code breakers it allows you to get multiple endings. This is more of if you've already like completed the normal game. And you want to go for like the evil ending, I think. I haven't tried evil mode myself because I've only coincidentally received the code breaker on my slot. I mean, on my alternate account, which is kind of funny because I've already received it twice and it's kind of rare, I think. It's definitely expensive for sure. But yeah, we're kind of just. Ooh, wait. We're just getting so much free stuff. A shark repel gun. What's that sound? It's so hard to tell without headphones. Yeah, I definitely do not recommend playing this game without headphones. It's not the best. But not the tiny item lockers. I remember, guys. I'm learning. 
I got five dollars. Where's this key card? Okay. Ah, okay, there's no way if it's not in this it's on top. Well, whatever. No, I have gotten the shark repel thing before. It's um I'm not too sure how it works. Like I know look you shoot like a beam. I don't know what you use it on though. I'm assuming it works on a lot of entities, but not all of them, because it's 20 ammo and that's like, there's no way they just let you get 20 entities out of the way. So it definitely has case scenarios, but I'm not sure what they are. Oh, yeah, definitely not that one, because there's the um, void puddles. I X on my main account. I accidentally uh, went inside it when this dude was coming because I was trying to speed run and while he was coming um frick okay did it work? no it did not so it doesn't work on that dude it looks like I mean I'm not even supposed to look at him Yeah, there was a really interesting entity that I really wanted to show y'all, actually. But I haven't seen it yet in a little bit. Oh my god. I'm cooked. But yeah, that's um obviously a mimic door. I didn't know which one was which, so it didn't really matter. I think the right door is more often going to spawn on... Am I, am I crazy? I don't want to be redundant, but I, I'm like, don't have my headphones, but I'm like pretty sure I heard something. Like 99% sure. Um, yeah, let's just keep going through though. Yeah, we get a couple rooms like this. You just go really fast. You go boom, boom, boom. Oh, there's an angler though. Okay. It does not work on him, I'll tell you guys that. I'm sure if you die enough times, it'll explain how to use the shark thing on it exactly. I know, bro. Whatever. Eating scams. But yeah, we're gonna go back to the lobby. Because there's one more feature. Well, I mean, it, it kind of builds off the last one, but... You can access all your case files. That spawn. your own personal file, Cap. All of the documents you found can be read here in case you want to go over the fine print again or if you've simply forgotten something. Just let me know which document you want and I'll get it for you. Yeah, I'm really interested to see how they expand on the lore of this game because I really want to know what he is. Now, it did say that you can like meet him in person if you get far enough. Also, never... Like I didn't, I've never s didn't see squiddles on my main slot, but it looks like if you just shine light at it, kind of just doesn't work. But uh, yeah, that's pressure. I heavily suggest trying it out, especially if you like doors. Even if you don't like doors because you think it's too not scary, you can try this as well. Cause doors isn't ugly; it's still very good looking. But this just has a little bit more detail and it's going for a more like grime no i don't know if grimy is the right word more chore i don't really think eh, i'll say dark a more dark theme kind of based on scp but um yeah if y'all like the video make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below any game suggestions i'll see y'all in the next video bye bye